Alright. So, we got a busy day today. Not a whole lot of work, but got a few things to do. First, good morning. Thank you for joining. If you're new here, thank you for coming and checking it out. Please hit the subscribe down below if you like it. Also, if you like it, hit that like button. Thanks, guys. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I am coming out to feed the koi right now. They have honestly, their color has been coming back a little bit and I'm very excited. So even just after, you know, four days, I think, of food, they're really starting to uh, appreciate it and their, their health and wellness is coming back. There's one right there. Oh, you see it, don't you? Yeah, oh, yep, eaten immediately. There's one. There's one of the other ones. He doesn't know. I have to get it farther out there for him. So they hear it and see it, and then they're like, oh, 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 yeah, you're right. Gotcha. Now I figured it out. <laughs> They are voracious. They are eating very, very well. Angle you down here a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see them. There's one right down there. There's one over there. And then there's another one. Looks like he's, uh, he's moving. So I don't know. I don't know. He's just kind of patrolling over there at the moment. So I uh, feed on both sides. I throw a bunch of feed in on this side and I throw a bunch of feed in on the other side. And uh, all the little ones have figured it out too, which is fantastic. So they've been coming out and, and grabbing at them and stuff. So they're gonna get bigger quick, which is also, again, great. Um, I just really have to focus on getting this waterway cleaned up and everything i have to take a break today a little bit my knee is not happy with me so so i'm just trying to take it a little more easy today um give it a bit of a break uh, i'm going to go up to the matsukawa civic center they said they have some pictures of some of the uh, residents and, and the mayor and all that kind of stuff so I really want to see that and um, I need to go there anyway and figure out the uh, Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff and, all right let's see he, oh he went yeah I think he he realized it and he went flying <laughs> I don't know where the fourth one is somewhere around they're always usually kind of hanging out together. They'll move away for a little bit. Oh, he's still over. There he is, way over there. Oh, two of them. Come on, you hear it? Oh, that's the one that has the gold. And he's, and he's looking really good. His gold is really starting to, to shine again. I'm so excited for it. Oh, you're almost there, Bubba. You heard it, you just... <laughs> yeah, you're not sure. <laughs> He's searching. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can see it, but the little small ones. Let's see if you can, if you can see. See, they knew it immediately, and they, they're right here. They came out and are getting them. They hide in there, so I don't know if the big ones will eat them. You know, I don't, I don't know if they're scared of that or, or what it is, but they definitely stay away from the big ones. 
so I would guess, you know, probably because of food scarcity, you know. Um, and the big ones can't get in there to get to them. <laughs> then once they get bigger, they can't eat them, right? Um, but I really need to get this pond cleared out, and I want to. I just, I have to get the other things first. Then I can do this, but man, there is... I'm not going to get the whole thing. There's no freaking way. Um, I'm going to try to get a good portion of it. You know, like I'm going to start over here. I'm, I'm thinking that this wall has collapsed. And that's why it, you know, all this muck and, and stuff. Because you can see wall here and you can see wall there, but you can't see it here. And I have found a few... Um, blocks and stuff but they're very like cattywampus <laughs> for lack of a better term oh yeah fish are getting it now the small ones and the big ones over here eating that's fantastic let me throw a few more hand or uh let's see probably two more over here uh, you gotta be careful to overfeed obviously especially whenever they're They've got minimum water and they're already in muck and stuff, but this is really, they are eating like all of this. So it's going to good use. And uh, we are mucking it out. So, gate looks fantastic. It's really coming back very well. These doors are just amazing amazing i really hope that i can save all of this stuff there's a some of it has termite damage a lot of it is w w so badly worn to age you know obviously um and then like these areas just completely need to be rebuilt basically there's parts of the missing uh like uh on this side you know, as I was pressure washing, you see the mud just starts coming out. So, stuff like that. I don't know if it can't really be patched. All this would literally have to be rebuilt. It's just so far gone, you know. Um, I, I, I would imagine I could probably say the gate itself. The main gate. There will be parts of it that will have to be fixed, possibly. Um, but I think the sides... I'll try to save as much as I can, obviously, uh, the lower timbers, you know, the main timbers, that kind of stuff. I'll try to save that kind of stuff if I can, but definitely some of it's going to have to be replaced. The good part is I have a boatload of wood in that back storage room, and uh, it's all this kind of stuff, so I can actually use still the wood that was here. You know, so I'm going to try to use as much of the original, I don't know what you would say, or not original, but, you know, what's here. I don't want to replace with new. I'd like to keep it as authentic as possible. Hello, beautiful butterfly. It is white. Um, Kudasan told me it's, it's a black-tipped something. Hi. There's so many beautiful butterflies and dragonflies and spiders and stuff that we just don't have. Oh, <laughs> that filter got ran over. But that's, that was useless. That was such a bad idea anyway. So, I got it. Wait. I got all that pressure washed yesterday. It looks so much better. All this. All this stone work and everything. I just, I left a little bit of area not done. Um, the wall, the wall is not coming clean easily with that pressure washer. And I didn't kind of expect it to with such a low pressure. But um, I need to try to figure out a good cleaner and then come out here with a scrubber. 
And I have scrubbers for it, so. Oh yeah, it's stinking cicada. I think it's a monster. It looks like his wings busted up. He is big, man. Wow. So, all right, let's uh, put the fish food away and then we'll be on to the next thing. So, Matsukawa Civic Center is not next on the list. I need to go to Komeri and get a few things. And then, well, so what I was thinking of doing was going right up the road here and exploring a little area that has a shrine and it has a waterfall there. And it looks like it's very lightly frequented past where the old school used to be as well. So, get that there. Oh, a little bit of trash. All right. So, <clears throat> thought you guys might like to see more than just work. And I'd like to explore the area because it's just another thing that I didn't get to see last time. That was my thought was, let's go there. Shouldn't be too bad on a bicycle. It'd be a good idea if I got the bicycle, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think I'm starting out slow today. Uh, golly. pictures of this place on Google and it looks really beautiful. It also is on a road that goes completely through the mountain and uh, over to the other side of the mountain. I don't know if anybody uses it anymore. It looks like it is uh, not managed. And I don't know. I don't know. It's obviously hard to tell these things from Google Maps. So let's find out. Shall we? Let's see what time it is. I believe it should be close to 9. Yeah, 8.53 a.m. So... Let's do just a little bit of sightseeing. Well, <laughs> I'm already starting out bad. Okay, I think we might have it figured out. slow and easy through the town I don't usually go this way go by the plaques this is the way to get to the closest train station I feel raindrops But I don't see clouds. So I'm guessing it's not so bad. There's the post office. If you want to send a package or anything. There's the Matsukawa Civic Center. We'll go there later. need 
just does not like me right now. But, you know, I gotta, gotta keep it moving. We're just taking it easy today. We're going nice and slow. Nothing crazy. I went out last night with Kudasan. He took me into Ichinosuke to pick up a washing machine for my clothes with his K truck. And, um, <clears throat> man, so many amazing buildings around here. And, uh, again, guys, if you are interested in moving into a place like this, helping restore and revitalize. We really do need the help here. Let's see, I think. I think this is how we get back here. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 okay. I got it. Yeah, if you'd like to help restore and revitalize, there are houses everywhere, guys. Very cheap. I talked to Chiba-san, he said, no problem. He'd be more than happy to invite more people in. Hi, I guess I'm Yeah, so, okay. Exactly, this is how we go in. And uh, over here is where the school used to be. So, yeah, this was a, there was a school great big school here oh I'm sorry it's not this field that was you can actually see the back that was for baseball and all that kind of stuff that was the sports area this is where the school was and um, if I'm not mistaken that sign says like thank you to the Matsukawa school system or something like that I'll, I'll translate it and put it up on the screen there's lots of monuments around and I'm really interested to get all of these translated there's a, a really beautiful one right up there a rock with like a, a shrine cover and there's a sign and everything so I'll have to go up there it's probably a dedication to the school I would imagine that that used to be here um also on Google Maps, you can go back in time and see areas, you know, from previous years where they've taken pictures. And if you look, oh, there's an old school building back there still. See, I haven't seen any of this, so I would love to be able to go and check this out. I'm, I'll talk to Chiba-san. I bet you, I guarantee you, he will take me over here and we can walk around in there if you guys are interested in that. I mean, I am. Holy cow so cool but yeah so if you go back to the earliest one you can actually see the the school building still there so in the last 10 years it's been taken down uh, they were telling me that uh, there used to be six rail lines that came through this area that this area used to be very very big uh, it was one of the most popular areas in the Tohoku region is what they were saying and uh, yeah just little by little this stuff falls away to time guys there's a lot of Aki out here so I've only seen this area again on Google Maps so it's so neat to be able to see it in person There's, there's a home up here. Oh no, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be a bear. I might even walk that. Jeez, just cause of my knee right now. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The water coming down out of the mountain. Beautiful greenhouses and gardens. As you can see, uh, what do we see? Uh, eggplant, onions, strawberries, all kinds of good stuff. 
so amazing big farming community so if you guys are are farmers please and we need young people I mean if you'd like to retire here you know you're 50 up that's that's okay but we would like some young people too so I'm 43 about to be 44 I don't know how old Kudasan is but I'm gonna start walking now He's uh, probably my age, ish, and uh, we, uh, as I was saying before, he took me out to uh, Ichinoski last night to get a clothes washing machine, and after that, he asked me if I uh, was hungry, if I wanted to get some food, and um, so we decided on sushi, because I love sushi, and I have... I haven't had any. I haven't had it authentic in in Japan yet. And granted, we went to one of the conveyor belt places, so it's still not like the most amazing, obviously. But it was really good. The, everything was fantastic. The rice was great. The fish was fresh. the The taste was incredible. I mean, when I eat sushi, I don't use oh my god look at these flowers coming up there are morning glories and just flowers everywhere but look at the beautiful stinking colors on these oh man gorgeous that one's kind of like pinkish beautiful beautiful and check these out so Look on here, look at these, I don't know, I mean, I think it's a pine tree, but so beautiful, so beautiful. So, yeah, I noticed there's a, there's a lot of greenhouses and vegetable gardening going on in, in this area, but there's an Akia that I'm pretty sure is an Akia anyway. Um, God, the hydrangeas in this area, guys. The colors are just insane. There is a, a, a very famous the Michinoku Hydrangea Garden is really not too far away from here. And um, I want to go because they're having their summer festival right now where everything's blooming. And they keep saying, like, this is the time to go. This is the time to go. You got to go now. So I, I really need to get to that. Golly. These flowers, I just, I just don't see this kind of stuff. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to dog on anybody, but just a variety here versus what I see in in everyone's gardens, you know, and and lawns and stuff in America, just non-existent. Versus here, everybody is gardening. Everybody has flowers. You know? It's just, a, it's amazing. Check out the, the old concrete pipes. So cool. So, yeah, I didn't realize this was such an uphill. But, can't wait for the downhill, right? <laughs> That's going to be great. Uh, so many terraces out here and stuff that... Aren't even used anymore. I'm telling you guys, I I bet you anything. And also, uh, there is land that was to be included with my property, and uh, you know, like fields and stuff. I got all I got everything but the fields because you kind of have to have like an agricultural permit almost it's not really a permit but i'll explain more some other time there's there's other people that have explained it really well too so if you're interested immediately you can check that out but yeah if you're not living here full time and stuff like that and you want to buy a house they're not going to sell you any fields that were attached to that that'll stay with the old owner or they'll sell it off to somebody else or something like that so um, but the old owner that I bought the property from, he said, uh, 
Um, you're welcome to use the fields if you want to, because we don't use them anymore. So, uh, and he'll give them, he'll lease them to me for free. You know, he, he just wants somebody to use them. Wow. The drop right here, you can't see. I can barely even see it, but wow, 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 wow. All right, so we're getting close. I know that. I'm getting closer anyway. So, oh yeah, there it is. So this was the Akia that I was talking about. And the reason I say that is because all these boards that are on the outside, when you go on Google Maps and you go back the earliest date, 10 years prior, they're still there and not a single one's moved. Everything's, you know what I mean? So, I'm, oh, you can absolutely tell this has not been lived in in forever. And, and this isn't going to be a house that you're going to want to buy. Ow, ow, ow. Obviously to live in, but you know, it's just an example. There's a lot of stuff out here. So I can definitely see why this road isn't used anymore. <laughs> I mean, it might be. You never know. There might be a few people that use it, but... Yeah. I don't... The uh, the good thing is I don't need cell service to take a video. <laughs> Golly, the size of those trees. Like I haven't got to really walk around and just enjoy yet. I've just been constantly going and <sighs> buying supplies and cleaning and digging and weeding and you know I and that's okay you know I, I tell everybody the house needs work it, it needs time it needs effort holy crap it's so far down there um, and I'll be around a long time I'll be able to enjoy it I'll be able to come over and just enjoy for for months you know and this, again that's the goal this is my life goal long time I forgot my bear bell boy I'm telling you if I see one we're out <laughs> I screwed myself on that one but hopefully I'm talking loud enough that we won't have a problem and also they said that the there's only been one bear sighting in the last who knows how long, so hopefully that's not a... Hopefully I don't make it number two, right? But yeah, you can see how the there's, um, you know, runoff area here, uh, drainage, you know, for the road. It looks like it's decently taken care of, so it might be used still. So that's good, that's good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. I was thinking about making it one of my projects, like when I come full time, to come and just make sure that these drainage areas are cleaned out and stuff. You know, wow, that's just, it's so immense. Everything is just so immense here. We're here. Almost. Just another couple hundred more feet, but we're here. This is beautiful. I'd like to get in a, a K truck and drive this whole uh, road because this is gorgeous. Man, th this whole area of Japan is just beautiful. I believe they call it like the the Nirvana of Japan, or it's something like that. I believe it's the Nirvana, that the Nirvana of Japan. It's amazing. It is just amazing. All right, so oh my God, I forgot that there's about a thousand effing steps here. 
<laughs> but hey, <coughs> why else did we come all this way, right? See so how yeah, water comes down through there. There's a wow. Let me put the bike over here real quick. Hmm. See, I, I need to, this needs a new post. That's barely hanging on for dear life. This needs some new pieces put in. The stairs need to be weeded. Yeah, people do not frequent this area anymore. It's so unfortunate. Check this out. So, so yeah, oh, okay, you can, you might not be able to see it, but there's a, a gradual pathway that goes right up here so I'm gonna kind of walk that pathway to make it a lot easier it's kind of like a snaking path it's really amazing and be careful of snakes and everything but check this out guys look at these stones oh these are Deep carvings. I mean, deep carvings. And I do not, I just can't tell, but I'll have to, I'll have to ask. I'm sure somebody will know. What's this one? This one looks like a, okay, it's also, car I see, and this one's even, partially buried it's been so long since anybody's cleaned up here so don't you worry i'm coming back for you guys oh now that's just disrespectful well no okay i lied maybe that is respectful i'll leave that there for right now i don't know but there yeah there's there are stone, there's a stone path here. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So this is going to be another project eventually. I think I'll try to work together with the community to organize a day where we come up and clean this area and come over and probably clean this one because this one looks like it also is going to need some serious work. <sighs> As the stairs are very weeded up, covered in pine needles. All right, so here we go. I gotta be real slow. These are all like, it's like a wood steps, but I think they're fake wood. They look, uh, they look like maybe they're um, concrete, made to look like wood. All right. Hey there. <laughs> Don't come out of anywhere. Yeah, you can't see a single step through here. It's, it's kind of like if I had a sled, man, I'd be going for a ride. You can imagine the last time anybody's been down here to clean. Probably about as stinking long as my home. Oh my word. Okay. So I think I've underestimated this area. It will there's just not pictures of this place, so I don't I didn't know what to expect, but there are Oh, jeez, there's no stinking what. Yeah, I'm not going all the way up there. <laughs> so, we'll have to come back at some point. But I'm going to go down a little way. But this is very overgrown, too. So, I'm not even fully prepared. I figured people probably frequented it a bit more. But, oh, that is beautiful. There's a bench down here. Wow. I bet there's pro oh I bet oh I think those are all benches just grown up. Wow. Guys, please. This area needs help. I implore you. 
if anyone honestly wants to help come restore something that I mean this is a national treasure you guys come on look at this the signs are falling down we, we need people uh, this should be here don't worry we'll get you we'll make it happen again so there's something up there off to that side then down here there's the stream and you can get across the stream there's steps up that way and then there's a huge set of steps up there and, and i know there's a shrine over there so let's do this one first because i believe we can get like a, a little better overview as well and this one seems to be close <laughs> So let's see what is over here. I don't know. Maybe it's just an outlook. Okay. Okay. I see what this is. And you're going to see it here in a second. Oh my word. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you prepared to just fall in love? Ugh. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Look at that waterfall. That is incredible. Wow. You guys, come on. This place needs help. Please. Please come out and help this area. Please help me restore it. Oh, ow, ow. See, I have to be, like I told you, I have to be really careful. So, so look, down here, um, it looks like it might not even be accessible all the time of the year, maybe. Because you, I'm sure you can probably see. We'll go down there to show you better. But there are... And, and maybe those are just swept away because of the water. But those are ways to get across the stream. So they're either, they've either been moved on purpose. And they just are used at certain times of the year. Or the stream came up and pushed them out of the way. So, I mean, that's access, you know. So, hey, don't you think maybe... We could build some kind of a bridge. That would be pretty fun. There's a lot of wood around. <laughs> There's a lot of wood. I'd be willing to donate as much as necessary out of my reserves. Okay, there's so many spiders, you guys. I have to... <sighs> Here's what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Help me help you, right? Alright, so let's get this. There we go. Spider deterrent. <laughs> no more spiders running into my face. Ow! Yeah. This is gorgeous, you guys. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I know I'm messing up your... You're eating, but... Alright, so... Yeah, so you can see those two boards are used to go across here. There is no more bridge. Some kind of... Some kind of something. I don't know. Yeah, so go across here to get over to there and well to get up to this one and then there's another couple of boards to get across to the other side so i mean i'd imagine we could easily figure out a way yeah see they're even a 
they're fixed to the boards because the water washes them away. And so they're like, no, you're not gonna wash them away. It'll just push it to the side. So that's exactly what happened. Water just pushed it to the side. There are some massive, massive rocks around. All right, so as long as we're careful, we can get her across right now. Because it's actually very low, which is good for us because I really would like you to see that waterfall a little bit closer. And if I can muster up the ability, we'll get to that. No, we're not going to get to the shrine. I'm, I'm just, that's never going to happen. <laughs> Wow. All right, so yeah, let's walk over here to the base. So yeah, these are, there's all, this is a whole pathway and everything. As you can see, there's steps down. And then this is where these boards would cross over. Look at that. It's just, thinking incredible just incredible this is an amazing area so there's a shrine way up those steps and then something else up there and i'm not going to be able to make it there you guys i'm sorry my knee is not going to do that right now so we will do it another time i promise i'll even try to get back here this trip and do it but uh my knee is going to need a few days that is amazing you guys wow is just wait till i show you the the pathway I, I know you barely got to see it in one of the videos just wait till you see that pathway and the steps leading up to the buddhist temple and uh my property has a direct path directly to that temple that is just amazing. So, if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, you'd like to experience it, and you are willing to help and come out, let me know. We need a lot of help here. This place can be amazing once again. There used to be a school. We can make that happen again with time. There's a hospital in the area. And now it's just used for maternity services. So come on, let's bring doctors back. Let's bring nurses back. Let's make this a hospital again. Let's bring people back. Let's revitalize this place. It deserves it. It really does. I found my life purpose. I really have. And I think you can too. That was amazing, you guys. I, I, I want to come here so much. <laughs> this is beautiful up here. This is just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. There's not even, there's, that's, that's nothing compared to what's out here. There's so much. Wow. That was beautiful. 
All right. Now let's enjoy the ride back. <laughs> Take my hat off. Get a little more air. That's just such a gorgeous stinking area. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, so now what I need to do is I need to go to Tomary and buy even more stuff. And I need just a few more items to make life a little easier. I mean, I still do have just over two more weeks here. So, don't you worry guys, there's going to be even more content coming. So much to, so much to show and share. Now let's really get some airflow. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We uh hey, hey. neighbor. Oh boy, we're uh we're cooking here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta even hit the brake a little bit. I don't I just don't want to freak out the neighbor coming up here. Oh hey look at that mass. I've never I haven't met most of these people so they're like bald guys in? the hell is going on <laughs> yep yep I'm here I'm here oopsie my little crooked bagging up apples I'm sure there, there's farmers cooperatives all over the place so cool so cool uh, if you guys don't know or don't follow them already uh, Benton Homestead on YouTube at Benton Homestead they are a part of their local farmers cooperative uh, they are doing sort of the same thing but at a much bigger scale than what I am as far as uh, they are here full time right now uh, and they are uh, operating an Airbnb they have a market garden and they are doing beekeeping uh, it is amazing they're they are doing fantastic you guys so okay so that's what I needed to know that is the road in okay that's the or one of the roads in I should say so let's Shoot back this way. Off the road there. Back onto the road over here. There's a beautiful home. That's a building supply store that apparently is open. That's kind of cool. Oh, hi, Agasemas. <laughs> Everybody wants to see and say hi to the American. There is the uh, shrine that we went to in the first video when I first came up to the house. Another one that I'd like to put a little time and effort into. It looks like they do a great job keeping it keeping it nice and clean and, and trimmed. Um, I would just like to pressure wash the stairs. They're, they're a little dirty. 
you know, and they can get slippery and stuff. There is an Akia right there that you guys, I guarantee, would be for sale. There's another one here. There's a, a big building if you'd like to open a business um, doing any kind of work. There's an absolutely enormous building, and I'm sure you could live in it also. So uh, there's all kinds of opportunities out here. Big, small, you name it. Uh, when I was talking with uh, Kudo-san last night at dinner, we went to the sushi place and uh, we were talking about all kinds of things. And uh, I, I was talking about the area and how I want to help revitalize and bring it back and stuff. And he said, well, let's work together on that. I said, absolutely. That that's really is the goal. It takes a village. And it's a, it's a saying that they do not know out here. <laughs> that I, I noticed they, they don't know. Well, I don't have to stop at the house. Um, but I asked them, I said, have you, have you heard this saying, it takes a village? And they're like, no, they don't really understand. So maybe Google is translating it weird too. I don't know. But um, when I explain it, they understand what I mean and, and what it means. You know, as far as, uh, you know, it, it takes a whole community gathering around each other to really make everything work well and, and, and be right and for everyone to thrive. You know, but when you start singling yourself and others out, that's when things start to go bad and fall apart. And we don't like that. We don't need that. Lots of homes around, guys. Uh, Chiba-san, the, the town leader, he is going to get me a list. I don't know when, obviously. Um, but uh, a list of Akia in the area. Prices, stuff like that. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to go and check them out. There's another shrine right there. Uh, and it talks about that water pilgrimage and stuff. So I'll show you that eventually. I'll have to stop there and, and, uh, and get it all translated and stuff. But you can, uh, you can also see it on Google Maps. If you go on Google Maps and you do the uh, if you look at this area, you can easily find it because it's it's labeled as one of the shrines in the area. So you can look up all the different shrines. You can see a little bit of information on them, a couple of pictures and stuff. But boy, that's nothing compared to really seeing it in person. Holy cow! These oh, there's another shrine up there. I haven't seen that one. I haven't been to it. I'm gonna go. Uh, there's just... <laughs> this area is full of them, too. Uh, you saw we went to just one of the many that I saw in Iwanushita. Uh, right across the way where the train station is. There's castle uh, back there. There's a couple castles around the corner. I mean, they're... <laughs> There's so much history here, you guys. You gotta come and check this place out. It's incredible. I would say this is a must-see as far as Japan. I mean, I haven't seen, obviously, like anything, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I know what beautiful is. I know what history is. Ugh. This place is just oozing in it. And the fact that it's very sparsely populated makes it even better. You're not trying to go to uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, all these places and, you know, all these tourists trying to get the perfect picture, you know, and, and there's 10,000 other people around them trying to do the same. Man, a single person fighting for your attention out here. Come on out and enjoy the peace. This is where you would want to go for a vacation. I mean, come on. Why do you want to jam-pack yourself in subways and Shinkansen and 
Oh, yeah. uh, we gotta go here. Okay, well this is scheduled for 3.15, and if we only spend 30 minutes there, and we... Man, what? That's not fun. That's not a vacation. This is a vacation. I'm working my butt off, and yet I'm, I am probably the most content I've ever been in my entire life. It's just, it's incredible. A lady came over yesterday and brought me food. And just, just talking with these people, they're so genuine, they're so kind. Uh, I believe I probably missed the drum practice, unless that's tonight, I'm not, I can't remember, but I thought she said Thursday, but she invited me to their drum practice where they do drums every week. And I think that would be a lot of fun. You know, I heard them doing, uh, I don't know what it was, something like, like a, some kind of flute thing or something the other night whenever I walked to the Civic Center. That was really cool, but I didn't want to try to go in or MP. That was the first night I got there, so I had not talked to anyone or anything. So that wasn't that wasn't going to happen. But now, now I could totally go in there and everything, no problem. And today is going to be that day. But like I was saying, I got to give my knee a little bit of a break. And I'm not right now. <laughs> but this is like, this is almost normal. It's just like walking, you know? I'm not really pushing myself. My knee is actually feeling okay. It's not, uh, it's not hurting right now. I'm sure later today I'll, I'll be uh, crying, but... <laughs> <laughs> no not really um but yeah i just I, I need time it needs time and this is kind of like just basic stretching and exercise i guess i would consider this i need to know what these vines are they're everywhere there's beautiful flowers on them like purple something I don't see them down here and they're hard they're really hard to see there's some a little bit lower I'm not walking up in there to show you right now maybe if I had some pants <laughs> shorts and a t-shirt today it's warm it's a warm one. It's not bad though. I think it's probably around like 80. Uh, 80. And that, let's see. The temperature is 79 degrees. Pretty decent at that. Alright, almost time to get back on the bike finally. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do the dang thing, man. Oh, oof. Thought I was about to save a life again, but that life has expired, unfortunately. There we go. Oh, I didn't get back out on the road, so this is gonna get bumpy, I think. This is pretty bumpy. <laughs> yep, there we go. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, I'm very. Uh, I'm very happy with my purchase. I believe everyone around here is very happy with me purchasing. <laughs> They were, uh, they told me everyone was very concerned. They didn't uh, know what was going to happen, who was going to buy it, what the person would be like. 
And I said we were all really, the whole community was very concerned to see what was going to happen. You know, whether somebody would come in and bulldoze it or something. So they are all very excited and very relieved to hear my plans and my ideas and everything. They love the uh, the YouTube idea, at least, you know, the ones I've talked to so far, they love that. Like the, the village chief, he's just so excited about it. He's like, yes, please keep spreading the information. Because uh, he's, he, he would love to see this area revitalized as well. As would, I'm sure, the whole entire community. Um, so if you know anybody or you'd like to help even in some small way even if you don't give any kind of monetary value or anything that's okay hit that subscribe button hit the like button give me a comment down below share this with a, a friend to share this with a group um you know uh Anybody who's interested in intentional communities and stuff like that. That's kind of what this living is like. And, and it's so darn cheap, you guys. I mean, your water costs 4,000 yen per year. That works out to about $25 American. <laughs> My property tax on that big old bad boy right there works out to roughly... $150 American per year. That's insane. So, so think about it. If you can muster up 10, 20, 30, 40 grand, you know, whatever you can get, I guarantee you we can find you something. <laughs> And we can get you a job. You know, it might be manual labor. It might be for a much lower wage than what you're what you're used to, but you don't have a mortgage. You don't barely have property tax. That's barely over ten dollars a month. Do you think you can afford that on a seven dollar an hour job? You know what I mean? So Come on. The typical wage in this area, if I remember correctly, for like basement, you know, um, just uh, basic labor and stuff, is around 1,500 to 1,800 yen per hour. So, in about three hours worth of work, you've paid for your water for the year. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I mean, come on. And you know, maybe half a week's worth of work and you've paid for your uh, property taxes now. Food is ridiculously cheap. I mean, we ate at a restaurant, okay, last night. And sushi. You know, not cheap, obviously. Fish, not cheap. I don't know how it is here compared to America, but America, not cheap. And, uh, let's get up. And, um, we had a bunch of different stuff. He, I let him order everything. It was absolutely fantastic. And for me and him, plus I had an iced coffee. He had a tea, and I think we each had probably 10 or 12 big old pieces of sushi, and oh, yeah, just so good. Squid, oh, oh so much stuff. And it came out to 2,376 yen. So we're talking about $15. No tip, no tax. You know, like, that's after everything. $15 for two people to eat really good sushi <laughs> at a restaurant? Get out of town. I mean, you could go out to eat every stinking day and every meal and still be ridiculously cheap. You know, compared to America now, it's like, 
golly you're spending 10 or 12 dollars easy for mcdonald's you know and if you want the whole family to go out all right 50 dollar bill you know like what it used to be at a great sit down restaurant is now what mcdonald's costs you but i'm not telling you to come over here and eat out every day the whole point is you're living in a farming community you get to grow a whole bunch of your own food you know how many stinking tomatoes i've eaten just in the last few days Ugh. and they're so good guys all homegrown you know i've got cucumbers noodles are crazy cheap you grow your own rice you know what i mean like i said we'll find you some farmland you want to grow you buy a house that doesn't have some fields attached we'll find you some i guarantee it the ones that i have that are available to me which i can make sure that you can use if you are seriously interested and you actually want to do it correctly they are over here uh in gabike so a really amazing touristy area you could set up a sign you know you could become part of the local farmers cooperative oh look they're cleaning up over here nice you can do uh you know start your own youtube channel oh hey there's a mess oh hey there's a mess you know start your own youtube channel maybe you become famous you never know But, uh, yeah, we would just really love to have some people come and help. We'd love to see you out here. If you have true intentions, you will be welcome. More than welcome. These people are incredible. They have been so kind and so amazing and so giving. I mean, the bike I'm on loaned to me also sump pump loan to me big big chipper loan to me that thing is enormous i mean come on that's an eight thousand dollar chipper for sure use it to your heart's content he said um you know i got a uh i was just about to buy a a, a water pot for for boiling water gave me one of those to use They've been giving me food like stinking crazy vegetables and soup and I, you saw the food that she brought over yesterday just so I think they're just so incredible you know and coming over and helping with yard work and stuff the, the village chief I mean that's basically the mayor you guys is coming over and doing yard work at my house like what that's ridiculous that, that doesn't even that would be that's unheard of in america not unless it's a publicity stunt not unless they're getting something out of it or you're padding their pockets paying for their stay you know like oh yeah and he's just like i just want to see the place come back to life I'm, he said i love this kind of work but you know i do too so all right i'm here guys I'm going to turn you off, go inside, make some purchases, and pick back up in a little bit.